In the first section, we assembled Dexy. The second section, we configured everything. Uh, welcome to the third. All of our hard work is about to take flight. Now, before we get started, I want to just give an overview. This is good knowledge of understanding, once again, motor position, motor rotation, as well as where our propellers go on the Dexy airframe. This is knowledge that you can take with you for any drone build. So if you recall in the previous section, we learned about our motor positions, one, two, three, and four. You'll see here on my right, I have motor one, motor two, motor three, and motor four. Motor one will go counterclockwise, motor two counterclockwise, motor three clockwise, motor four clockwise. So this layout maps to the actual layout of the Dexy airframe. And let me just start with motor number one. This is a counterclockwise rotating propeller. There are two different types. You'll see that I have CCW here and CW here. And taking a look at this propeller, hopefully you can notice that there is a leading edge that is facing up and what we call a trailing edge, which is facing down. So with a counterclockwise rotation, this is generating thrust, pushing the air down, which causes lift. Counterclockwise, leading edge, trailing edge. Now let's compare that to the clockwise rotating propeller. You'll see here the leading edge, the front, trailing edge at the rear, and that gives us the ability to generate thrust in a clockwise rotating manner. I touched on previously about Dexy being a push configuration. These motors are mounted upside down. The propellers are beneath the motors, pushing, generating thrust, and lifting Dexy into the air. You're most likely familiar with a more traditional configuration where the motor is facing, pointing up, the propeller goes on top of the motor. As you have your propellers in hand, just pay attention to there are little markings on top. This is the counterclockwise rotating propeller, and it will always face upward, regardless of how it's mounted on the motor. So uh, let me demonstrate. I'm going to take this off. Looking at the de Dexy configuration, the motor is pointing downwards. We're going to slide the propeller up onto the motor, even though it's beneath it. The propeller is still facing upwards and rotating counterclockwise for position one. Before we mount our propellers, I want to give one last visual of what I just explained. So think if I took Dexy, I moved it over. And so in doing this, you can see how if I were to flip Dexy over and mount these propellers, they'd actually be in the wrong orientation as well as upside down. We'll move on to propeller mounting. I've gone ahead and removed the propeller nuts off the motor shaft. I know I'm being a bit redundant related to motor orientation and spin direction, but I just feel like that's important as people uh, get into the hobby and, and learn more about drones. That's one of the number one things that I see is if you don't have this set up properly, you'll end up taking off immediately flipping over and then wondering what's going on. That's why I've gone into a bit more detail. Once you learn this, obviously this will be quick and easy uh, for the future. To keep this simple, what I'm going to do is just place the propeller onto the motor shaft in each position. And in doing this, it really eliminates hopefully any potential error, assuming that we have the proper propeller on each motor. So once again, counterclockwise and clockwise. Propellers are in place and stated a few times previously in the build, uh, we obviously do not want ha to have power to Dexy as we're doing this. We'll get everything mounted, uh, checked, and then we'll move on to our flight test. So I'm going to go ahead and just Move that antenna out of the way, flip this over. We can go ahead and proceed with putting the propeller nuts in place. So I'll just hand tighten each of these. We'll use the multi-tool provided in the kit. Grab the motor with the propeller in between my fingers. I'll tighten that down. Of course, I don't want to over tighten it. Just tight enough to where the nut stops moving.
Go ahead and remove the painter's tape. And now Dexy is ready for its maiden flight.